Hello and welcome to another Windows 7 tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to restore the default Windows icons to the desktop and also just how to create quick shortcuts to the desktop just for any kind of application or any kind of file that you might need. So first of all let's restore our recycle bin. As you can see the recycle bin is nowhere to be seen on my desktop. Somehow it's got lost. It's recycled itself let's just say. Um, so let's right click on an empty desktop and let's click on personalize. And from here, we're just going to navigate to desktop icons. And as you can see, you can actually choose a variety of different options here. You can choose the My Computer icon, the user file, the network, the recycle bin and control panel. If you just click apply, as you can see, these all come up. Obviously, we don't really need the network and the user files, and we don't want the control panel either. Desktop clutter. So let's just click apply. So we've got My Computer and we've got the recycle bin, the two main icons that we always normally have on our desktop. So let's click OK. So let's say we want to create a shortcut, a shortcut of a program or a document that we want to see on the desktop. How would we do that? Well, first of all, we we'll click on, uh, we'll find which file that we want to use. So we'll go to start. And let's just say we want a, a shortcut of the Internet Explorer on my desktop. So let's go to Internet Explorer in the programs, right click, highlight the send to, and we want to send it to our desktop. So, and it says create shortcut, so create the shortcut. As you can see, it's created a shortcut for Internet Explorer. Generally, most shortcuts will have these kind of little uh, icons here that generally depicts um, that this is actually an icon shortcut rather than the, the original icon itself. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. We hope this helped you. And don't forget to check out our website at ectotech.co.uk forward slash blog. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as it will have plenty more tutorials coming up shortly. Thank you, until next time, goodbye.